Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 108 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is of course going to hold many different connections to the prequels and the originals. That's all going to be used as a way to benefit many of the characters like Rey and Kylo Ren in this story that's going to be used in specific and unique ways that will really satisfy the audience around the entire world watching this film once it finally hits theaters come this December. Now, what's really great about Rey and Kylo is that their actual interactions in this film are actually going to be very much different in comparison to how it was done in the past two movies. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for episodes. 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that during the rewrites of the film by George Lucas and J.J. Abrams during the months of November and December of 2018 just late last year is when they were making major adjustments to the second and third acts of the movie. It's explained that one of the scenes that are still planned for reshoots during this month of September involves a sequence in which Anakin Skywalker will be used in a unique way to deliver a specific revelation to Rey. It's explained that during during Rey's time in the Lost City, she comes across a place called the Lake of Dreams. It's here where it's explained that where she begins to see Anakin's apparition, where his Force Ghost is said to appear far older than ever before, as if it's a mixture between Hayden Christensen and Sebastian Shaw. It's described that during the scene Anakin's Force Ghost unveils to Rey that it was a fallen will who created the dark side itself, and that the beyond is a specific place that resides over in the unknown regions, and is described to be a part of the origins of the galaxy that were first created by the wills themselves. The sequence is said to be very magical and emotional for Rey, where she learns ancient lessons of the Force by Anakin's apparition and voice. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now what I love so much about this is that we do get to learn a little bit more about the wills, the origins of the galaxy, the beyond, and even the unknown regions. I want to talk about the dark, or should I say the dark side itself, that was created by the fallen will. Now, I don't know about you, but the wills themselves, we haven't really been able to learn much about them in the current canon material, other than the fact that they are godlike beings. Now, the wills, in case you guys did not know, were indeed created by George Lucas back in the 1970s. 70s and 80s, and he has always wanted to use them for his version of the sequel trilogy, which by the way will never see the light of day. But since George Lucas is heavily involved with the Rise of Skywalker, you can really now see exactly why the wills are going to be explained and referenced in episode 9 in some way, shape, or form. So one of the wills that was actually described to be a fallen will was the one directly responsible for, for actually creating the dark side of the force, whereas the other wills were the ones creating the light side. Now what I like so much about the wills is that they are these beings that watch over not just the entire galaxy, but the entire universe. So George Lucas, you know, he wanted to do something incredible with the Wills and especially Anakin Skywalker. And you can really see what they're trying to do with episode nine by doing all of this in the Lost City, which by the way, in case you guys did not know, the Lost City contains a place called the Lake of Dreams. The Lost City is said to be the most powerful force nexus there is in the galaxy, which is basically a concentration of the force and is even connected over to the beyond. Now let's go over to the beyond. Now Anakin's force ghost and or his apparition is said to explain to Rey that the beyond itself is a specific place that resides within the unknown regions and is said to hold the origins to the galaxy itself. Very interesting, I gotta say, because we do know that the, that the unknown regions always had a link to the beyond and now we're beginning to understand more so about what it really is. So the fact that the beyond is the very starting point of the galaxy could very well explain as to why Palpatine is obsessed with this power that resides over in the unknown regions. Now, the fact that they are mixing the design of Sebastian Shaw and Hayden Christensen together as one being as Anakin Skywalker, making him far older than ever before, is also a very interesting aspect of episode nine of what they're trying to do with this movie. So with that being said, 
Now, I will say that I'm very intrigued about the Lake of Dreams, the Lost City, the Beyond, the Wills, the Origins of the Galaxy, which by the way was going to be told in an original story for the Expanded Universe that was not approved by George Lucas back in the late 1990s into the early 2000s. So episode nine, it does have a lot of potential to mark itself down as the best of the sequel trilogy and maybe even a fan favorite of the entire Skywalker saga if JJ can execute this film on the big screen perfectly, beat for beat, and really make it a fan favorite. I think that'll be pretty much, you know, his known film if he can really mark this down as a very satisfying movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.